Hey, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, how to cut vinyl on the plotter using Adobe Illustrator. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is I'm using the Essential Classics layout up here. So if you're using one of these other layouts, the buttons might be a little different and it might be hard to follow along. But first, let's open up the Adobe uh, Cut Studio, which is the driver that our plotter uses to communicate with the laptop. So to find it, we'll go to Windows, and you're going to go to uh, Extensions, and Roland Cut Studio is right here. Now, if you don't have this, you can find the extensions on the Exchange, and it'll take you to a store where you can download it, and it's free. You just have to have the most recent version of Illustrator for it to run. I recently had to download Illustrator 23.06 for my cut studios to work on my uh, with my plotter. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and you'll see the roll and cut studio window right here. It has all the stuff we need. So now that we have our driver open, I'm going to type out some text that I would like to cut on the plotter. For now, we'll cut a promotional banner for the art club. So I'm going to go over here. Join the art club today. All right. So notice this is the preview window for the plotter, and the the text is not showing up there. So we have to create the text in a format that will be recognizable. And so I'm going to go to Object, and I'm going to go to Expand. And when I do this, it creates outlines around all of the objects. So when you do that, then you'll be able to see Join the Art Club Today in the preview window. So this is going to be pretty small. Um, if we look at our size, this is uh, 10 by inches by 1 inch. It's pretty small to cut on the plotter. We can make this slightly bigger. Um, either changing the font or we can expand. There we go. And notice over here, if you have a, a text that's longer than 24 inches, which is our cut space on the plotter, or actually more like 22 inches, you'll be able to rotate the text. So if you needed to cut it this way or, you know, upside down, you could. Also, notice over here, if you're doing a printmaking project, it will cut the text in mirror image. All of this stuff you can also do in the Illustrator or Photoshop apps, but um, it's just these are handy little buttons. Okay, so now that we have our text set up, let's go take a look at our plotter. So you'll want to feed your plot vinyl into the plotter. Um, and we're going to work on the keypad, but there are a couple things that you need to know first. Let's look at some anatomy. So first, you have the tension lever back here. Uh, once you feed the vinyl into the plotter, you can secure it down with the tension lever. Now with the tension lever up, you'll be able to move these rollers, which are actually what make contact with the vinyl and keep it on track in the plotter. So these rollers have to be on or under one of the white bars. So there are two rollers here and you'll want to space the rollers out as far as possible. When you do this, this allows all of this material in the center of the rollers to be cut. So if you, for instance, put a roller here, the machine would only cut between these two rollers. So that way you're limiting your cutting space. This is for, you know, if sometimes you don't have a roll that's 24 inches long, you only have a 12 inch roll, and so those white spaces right there allow you a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, so the machine will sense that you have loaded in a roll of vinyl, and it will ask you, is this a roll? And so all, I always do rolls, even if it's a sheet of paper, it's just a little easier. So hit enter, and then the printer head will move across the page and measure the distance, and it will tell you how much of a cutting area you have. For So in this sense, you have 22 inches, or roughly. So once I have this where I want it, 
I can move the up and down arrows to tell the plotter where to start on the page. I always start right at the edge in the lower left hand corner of the, of the vinyl. But you're going to have to push origin. So press origin and hold it down and that will, for a couple of seconds and then that will tell the plotter that it's ready to start. And it will tell the um, also tell the plotter where to put the um, the head of the cutters to begin cutting. Okay, so once you have origin set up and um, it's all ready to go, so you can go back to your text. And the only thing you need to do is press output the paths, and this will send the information to your plotter. It's a yellow and blue icon. And so I don't have my Roland hooked up to this computer right now, but you can see if I did, it would have Roland, and you would just hit cut, and the plotter would cut. So this isn't the extent of everything that could happen with your plotter. There are some things that it might jam up or it might gum up if you have too small a print to use. Um, but I encourage you to look at the owner's manual and troubleshoot that way. This ought to get you started, but the owner's manual is good to review if you have any other problems. Thanks.